Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Nick Reagan. I'm here with Chris McClure with Bike Walk Somerville. You guys, a freshly uh, new nonprofit. At least you got the nonprofit credentials yes, just recently. Uh, but for folks who maybe don't know, tell us a little bit about what it is that Bike Walk Somerville does. Yeah, so Bike Walk Somerville is a you know uh, newly established 501c3 that advocates for safer active transportation, such as like uh, walking, biking, and also public transit within the greater Somerville area. Some of the things that we do, we do a lot of engaging the community, the bicycle pedestrian community as we call it, to let them be aware of public comment opportunities, uh, public surveys, and just news that is within the interests of our group and that we feel like the public should know and have signal boosted. We run a farmer's market slow roll that is inclusive of all ages. Uh, we go as slow as the slowest rider is what I like to say. Um, and you know, we show that bikes mean business. We are supporting our small business community while showing that when it is safe to do so, people will travel by bicycle to in their local area. Well, you know, I, I think maybe some folks think uh, biking is a, is a leisure activity. You mentioned a slow roll to the mm -hmm. farmer's market, but this actually is an issue that has some real teeth. I think recently uh, a report came out that said South Carolina is one of the worst in the nation for for uh, pedestrians, bikers, walkers, yes. etc. Number four in bicycle pedestrian fatalities, yes. You know, so why is it that, that you feel passionately about what it is that you guys are doing? Yeah, I mean, when I first started, I like the idea of creating change in my local area. And I just noticed a lot of, you know, data points together of, hey, I, now, that I, now that I bought a bike, I'm noticing a lot of other people ride. We're just not always visible because we're shoved off to side streets. And every time we're on the road, we tend to get yelled at and harassed, and sometimes we have things thrown at us. You guys work with uh, the government in some regard to sort of get out. Again, you mentioned those opportunities for people to speak up. But you know, what would you like to see happen um, in in the political realm uh, for uh, to to increase the the bikeability, the walkability of our communities? This is something that could actually every municipal government should do. Period, because it's such a weak point and it affects so many other things besides just uh, walking and biking. Like municipal governments need to get better at reaching out to the public because people nowadays just don't feel like their voice um, is listened to. Right. But I think that's something that not just walking and biking, but just anything that when it comes to public comment. In general. Um, yes, absolutely. Now, one of the ways I think that uh, you, know, you guys are, are making your voice heard, your message sent to uh, the government is by trying to get the businesses on board. And I actually think uh, folks out in the community who are interested in, in working with you guys or feel passionately about the issue can, can help out on this. You have a petition that you're trying to, yes. to, to get through here? We have an open letter to basically sign, basically to get the town of Somerville to prioritize other forms of transportation besides just a single occupancy vehicle. Um, and the, an important part about this is getting all stakeholders involved. So people who drive, people who bike, walk, but maybe don't bike, and also business owners. Business owners have a lot of right to feel anxious when road layouts change, because that can easily, that can kill businesses depending on you know, the configuration. And so you know, we wanna be understanding of that. So we have an open letter um, that is on our Facebook page. Um, if you check out our Linktree link, um, it'll have it right at the top. As well, you can also um, email bikewalk.svl at gmail.com, and we can send that over to you if you are a small business owner, if you represent a bigger business. Yeah, we've had a, we've had a couple different businesses sign on, and it's been very encouraging. All right, well, we will make sure that we have all that information up on our website as well. Chris McClure, Bike Walk Somerville is the group. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for your time.